Hey guys, how is everybody? It's Suze and welcome to the Style Lab Club where we solve all of your wardrobe conundrums stress-free. How about that? Um, thanks for joining me on our second video in our new series. I'm super excited to share with you called How to Have a More Eco-Conscious Wardrobe. So last week I did a little in introduction and talked about the three concepts, which are really, um, you know, how to be more creative with the things you already have. And if you guys know me and you've been around for a while, um, you know that I talk about this concept a lot. Um, I do want to circle around and get back to it, but um, I'd like to focus um, today's lesson on what's coming in. And um, also we'll, we're going to be discussing um, in the next few weeks um, what happens when things go out of your closet, when you're removing things. And then um, we're going to talk about uh, not only what's coming in, but where is it coming from. So um, uh, like I said, I'm excited you're here. So um, let me know if you have any burning desires and I'll answer the questions at the end of the video. So today I wanted to go through with you some ideas that may be new to you and, and maybe you've, you're aware of them, they've been around for a while. Concepts about um, bringing things into our closets uh, in a more sustainable way. So uh, when it comes to um, you know finding the items that we're missing and shopping with a plan, um, when we know what we need and we've gone through that process, like for example, when I do my capsule wardrobe workshop, which is coming up um, this fall, you have a list of things that you, you need, that you know that you need to get. So when you are doing your research, you can identify and look for those things. So it happens to be a way to search just like on a, um, a search engine, right? So when I am shopping uh, for myself primarily, but sometimes with clients who um, would like to be more sustainable and find things that are already out there, we look at vintage stores, we look at resale shops, um, also called consignment shops, um, even called thrift stores. It's a little bit of an older term, the idea of um, a thrift store. That term's not used so much now. However, younger generations, like my kids, my boys are 17, and they are uh, excited to go thrifting, right? So, like, I took them to Salvation Army this summer, and we had a blast finding things. The only, or maybe it was last year, actually, because I remember we, um, we couldn't try things on because of that pandemic. So, um, anyway, so these are all places where you can find great pieces. So um, one of the things that can maybe uh, block you a little bit is the idea, if you haven't done this before, is someone else's stuff that might like feel Ugh, to you. Um, now there is an energetic of uh, things that come into us that have been worn or loved before. So we just have to be aware of that. But um, you know, once you have it professionally cleaned or wash it yourself, um, that you know that, that that piece can be worn again, and it's a very sustainable mindset. So that's really what I'm trying to get you to open to, is that these items are already there. Um, they're, in, they're, they're in the resale shop, right? And uh, a lot of times these pieces have um, price tags on them, meaning they never were worn, right? So someone let go of them because of so there's so many reasons um, why someone would let go of something or it could have come from an estate sale, someone that um, moved or, or maybe someone that passed, right? So anyway, open your mind to those uh, types of resources. Um, look in your town, do some searches, um, Yelp, Google, whatever, of um, uh, vintage shops, high-end resale, luxury resale. Those terms are going to yield you places that you're going to want to shop. So um, all of the, the women here in this amazing uh, private group are professionals um, or high end entrepreneurs. And so we all have like an aesthetic that we're looking for quality um, and, um, you know, uh, also the idea of um, designers and manufacturers that we're familiar with that um, produce those kinds of um, metrics for us. Right. So um, also there 
such as um, items that you know are your style. Like for example, oh, I know Michael Kors is my style. So um, once you find those stores, you can go to their websites and see what brands they have. Um, also, um, they, they may not list it that way. They may list it as um, the brands that they're taking for consignment if they are a consignment shop, okay? Not all resale places are consignment, okay? So the nice thing uh, that I have found with a, various different consignment places around the Chicagoland area is that I like to consign with them and shop with them. Sometimes I bring clients items to consign and then they get a credit when the item sells. So when you go in to shop for like, for example, maxi dress, right? I bought this this summer in Portland, Oregon. My One of my favorite resale places um, is called Modo a boutique and I was looking for more free flowing maxis for hot summers, which are so cooling for me. I wear these practically daily. Anyway, um, those items that you're looking for, you can do, uh, you can search for items that they may be consigning if they don't list it that way. Um, so those are ways to do some research so that you, um, again, you want to maximize your time. You don't want to just be searching, throwing darts and just driving all over the place, right? So um, you can also follow um, their social media feeds and look to see what kinds of things that they're posting, right? So that helps with the research. So um, that kind of wanted to just give you that background um, uh, as far as, you know, your local shops and then also um, places like um, Goodwill and Salvation Army. Those can be good resources too, depending on, you know, who's bringing those things in. So depending on your neighborhoods and, and um, um, you know, those uh, locations, right? Um, and then uh, we also have online versions of all this stuff, right? Like the Real Real, the Vault. Um, uh, then there, those are high level, right? And then there's kind of mid level, like Thread Up, um, eBay, right? Um, even Etsy has uh, real vintage items I've seen um, um, on Etsy's um, platform. So. Uh, it depends on what you're looking for, right? So if you're interested in real vintage, which is these things are made a long time ago, um, there's a whole different sizing uh, chart, really. Like uh, sizing has completely changed. Something that's been made in the 50s, um, like you could be a size six a in a current um, American standard. And then um, that would actually be like a 12. <laughs> It's something that was made in the 50s, right? So totally different. So you have to, to do a little bit of due diligence and, you know, handy dandy tape measure is always going to tell you it's just your best tool for shopping anytime, especially online. So, and with vintage. Um, and that can be a whole nother workshop on finding your right size. So um, having explained all of that stuff um, with you guys, I want to show you some of the pieces that I have um, identified and purchased for myself um, and also, oh, one other thing I wanted to say is a swap party. That's a whole nother thing too. So, uh, you can have a, a party with your friends and get together and swap items with friends who have similar sized pieces to you. So this could be, could be accessories, it could be shoes, it could be jewelry, scarves, hats. Um, it also could be clothing. So I'm going to show you a piece that I have, uh, recently got from one of my, um, little style muses where we get together, just her and I and we um, exchange clothes. It, it's very fun. So anyway, um, so I mentioned this dress, the brand I was not familiar with, but the price point was fairly high, in my opinion, for resale. And it's all silk. Uh, I spent, like I said, a little bit more than I might normally, but um, that just indicated to me that it was a high-end brand. So uh, normally I would probably go and research it, but um, anyway, I just I just had it hemmed, so I wanted to wear it. Um, at that same store, this Modo, um, I bought this dress on, on this trip. So this is an anthropology brand. It's uh, Maeve, if you guys are familiar with it. And it has a mid-level, which is perfect for me, comes kind of just below my calf, and has this beautiful balloon sleeve. So these were details that I just uh, was like, oh my gosh. And this particular boutique does a price um, structure. So um, different months, like June, July, and August, they had um, different uh, percentages of uh, discounted. Uh, a lot of resale places will do it that way. And so um, because this was probably um, brought in in April, um, because it's kind of a little bit more springish as far as 
the, uh, it's, you know, it's got sleeves, right? Um, it was, it was even better price. So that to me was like, Ooh, bingo. Um, okay. Uh, what else did I get from there? Oh, okay. So I got these boots too, because again, they probably were brought in earlier because it's like a spring item, right? Summer, most people aren't wearing boots in the summer. So that's another indicator of a time where you could try something because it's off season. You could, um, invest a little bit less of your resources to try something. That's how I feel about eBay. I will try something if I can get the price that I want. Um, and I've also been known to relist something on eBay that didn't fit me. So I take a chance, even though I went through all the measurements and asked the questions about dimensions before I bought it, it still didn't fit quite right. I would relist it. Um, I'm not doing that so much anymore because it's time consuming. And you have to think about what your time is worth. So sometimes I will just reconsign those pieces to a local thrift store. So this boot is Hudson brand and they're an English brand. I love them. Um, they remind me of um, All State, uh, um, All Saints, sorry, as far as the, the styling. So it's my style. It's bohemian, it's kind of Western. So mm, these, these were, I'm super excited to wear these this fall. Um, Last summer, I got these cool quirky shoes, um, and they are a beautiful little sandal. It's very comfortable. So I'm going to spend more time on accessories, I think, next week, because I wanted to show you some quick, quickly show you some more clothing items. Um, all right, so also from that store. Oh, right. Okay, so. Ah, uh -huh. So this uh, beautiful um, sort of a tunic shape uh, blouse. I'm, I was so excited because the brand is um, Marnie. I know it's going to be backwards for you guys, but uh, Marnie is a high-end brand, and I cannot believe um, what a good deal I got. Um, so I'm just going to take this to be clean because I haven't had a chance to do that yet. But what I what I love was I also was able to find uh, like a high-low. So that to me is really fun. So these pants, which would go together with my money top are, um, this is actually H&M and they are a wide leg palazzo pant. And um, I just found the print to be irresistible. So, um, and I love it when I can like find something that is an instant outfit, right? So these two pieces go together. Now H&M is not considered a sustainable brand, right? Um, because of their low score on um, although they're starting to improve, but um, the low, lower scores on uh, waste and things like that. So, but because it's vintage H&M, um, I was, uh, I changed my standards and allowed myself to get these. So, got the pants. And then um, I love this top I want to show you guys. So, this is, um, I, I don't recognize the brand actually, and Tropical Drift, whatever. I just thought it was so cool and so, so vacation-y. I'm like, Oh geez, I need to have this top. So um, love, and again, um, these, uh, at the same trip, I got these cool pants, which go together. So it's so fun when you can actually make an outfit. <laughs> if, um, if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, please go over and follow. It's um, Sue's Style uh, Lab. Uh, I did, a, I had my son make me a reel. Uh, one of my teenagers is a really good video guy. He makes videos. Anyway, um, I had a little reel of that, of shopping at that store. So you guys, it, they do have a website too. So if you guys want to check out that store. But anyway, these were my little finds that I got at Modo this year. Um, super excited to kind of just zhuzh up and, and uh, give a little boost to my wardrobe with a few cool pieces. A um, couple other things that I've got that are old, that have been around, that I wear constantly is this cool breezy caftan e caftan kind of really from michael kors this is from mcshane's exchange in chicago love it i think i was with my friend anise when i got this who also loves vintage so she and i are like little partners in crime you know we like to go and uh, get a coffee and do a little shopping sometimes and we'll go into the city um, which is not far from oak park where we live here and um, we'll go to McShane's. There's also a juice bar across the street, so super fun. Um, all right, so let me see other things. Okay, 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 guys. Ha, 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 ha. 
Ashley's here. I know she's um, in love with Rag and Bone as well. So these jeans I got you guys from a, a resale shop in um, the 900 North Michigan building, Bloomingdale's building, in Chicago on the Magic Mile. What? Yes. And they're called the North Shore Exchange. And what I love about them is that they are uh, a nonprofit. So um, they have all volunteers and um, the sales after, you know, covering their costs go to um, all different kinds of really important charities in Chicago. So I love supporting them and I will bring things to consign to them too. So these jeans, I about had a heart attack when I saw these. So they have a wide leg, which I love. Um, they're not too long for me. So I was, I didn't have to give up this beautiful embroidery. Check it out on the hem. Okay. The other thing that's amazing about these jeans is they are not ultra high rise, which again, do a whole program on jeans um, because I am so short and short in body. Uh, I cannot wear those horrible high rise jeans. They just are um, uh, ultra high rise waist. Uh, they, they cut into my belly. So these are a mid rise. So they're, they're either slightly older, which I, I suspect, or believe it or not, uh, mid rise is starting to come back. Yay. I've been seeing them on websites um, when I've been shopping for jeans for clients and I'm like, oh, mid rise. Yay. So, okay, uh, this jacket, <laughs> I wear this jacket all the time. Matter of fact, my husband, Joe, will say, oh, gosh, d um, you know, did you lose a fight? <laughs> because it's so distressed, um, you know, there's holes everywhere. Um, I've been showing this top, which is actually from um, a boutique last year, just a regular store, you know. But I love the way I'm combining vintage with you know, purchased item at a regular store. So uh, anyway, I love this jacket because it just, it's so edgy, it just feels, I can put it over a frilly something or other and just feel super cool. So uh, it's uh, American Eagle actually. And I bought this on eBay. Okay, that's why I wanted to show you guys. Bought it on eBay. Uh, what else? Oh, this dress I wear a lot. Mara Hoffman, you guys. Again, my brand ladies. Love Mara Hoffman, want to give her a big, huge hug and kiss because she is, um, her practices of how she manufactures her clothes are considered highly sustainable. So um, I love her. Now, I was able to get this um, at a resale shop in Portland. Um, actually, I think it was a Crossroads. Crossroads is a, is a branded resale. Check that out in your town, guys. Buffalo Exchange is another one and, and Crossroads is kind of similar but not so beatnik, right? So, I don't know. Uh, maybe you like beatnik, but anyway, so it is a it is a long maxi, which I love, um, with these cool stars, yay. So I got this last year, love it. Um, I think I'm running out of time, guys, because I would love to show you more items. Let me know if you want me to do another video with more items, because I've got more dresses and, and jeans and pants and stuff that I could show you. Um, and also more things that I got from eBay. So I've been doing this for a while. Um, as you all know, uh, celebrating my 12th year in business. Can you believe that? Um, so thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I love each and every one of you. Please put comments in uh, as to where you like to shop um, for sustainable uh, clothing, um, focused on resale, kind of on this one. Uh, later in the series, I'm going to talk about buying new and how to evaluate those companies, what criteria you should be using. So if you love this video, I would love for you to share it. Um, I also download this onto YouTube. So anybody who's not on Facebook can watch it. So I'd love for you to share or invite people into this private group where we're all about really feeling good about ourselves every day, knowing ourselves, going deep. And that confidence that comes from, oh, I just realized I didn't butt up, button up my shirt. <laughs> Flashing, flashing you guys my sports bra. That's my other dirty secret. I wear sports bras, bras a lot. Uh, I know Kelly Armstrong is in here watching and she sells these amazing sports bras. Okay, so um, <laughs> gotta do it. Um, anyway, please share and tell your friends about this cool group and the amazing things we're doing in here. I do a lot of networking in here too. And um, I just love for you guys to exchange. Uh, that's why we call it the lab. It's an exchange of information. Have an amazing day and come back next week on um, Wednesday, usually around 1230 ish uh, for the next video. 
and uh, we'll see you in the gap. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.